Hey guys, so it's been a while. I'm finally figuring out my technological issues with my computer. I um, I've got some things uploaded to my hard drive. I've had some videos saved. I have some videos I'm working on. I have the ones that you've requested. I have my personal list and some things that I've uh, channeled from spirit and other other worldly sources. So I just want to make this a kind of quick inspirational video. It's going to be um, what I'm going to call six awarenesses to manifesting. And hopefully with all of this introspective time that we're going through right now and in our solitude and our personal lockdowns with um, the virus and everything that's going on out in the world, that maybe we can hone in really more on ourselves and take advantage of getting in alignment with um, what's happening in our subconscious mind. So six awarenesses to manifesting. I think number one, should be getting specific. I think writing down lists or at least taking a mental note of what your wants and needs are. Some of us have dreams that we may have let fall by the wayside, things that we have forgotten about that got pushed under the rocks, so to speak, or layers of life have just caked them down that they're not even in the forefront of our mind anymore. Things that could be brought to the surface that we could get re-inspired by. There are goals and dreams that we have that are in the forefront of our minds now that some of us may be really pushing on pursuing and feel this stuckness or these blocks that are coming through. So whether it's something of the past or something of the present that you're working towards, I think getting really specific with the universe about what your wants and needs are, are very important. That way, spirit and source and your guides can really help this unfolding process take place, can help these other paths and doors and gateways open for you to prepare for those things to come into your life. Number two would be getting in alignment with your subconscious mind. Ultimately, this is huge. Um, all of these other awarenesses, these tips, really push us mainly into this place of finding peace and harmony with our wants and needs within our subconscious mind. Because with those blocks that have come up, there's insecurities, there's doubts, there's uncertainties, there's things that are holding us back from really believing that we are deserving of this. And it's about rewriting those stories. And so it takes a lot of patience and a lot of time to work within yourself to dig deep and figure out what's holding you back and allow those things to come to the surface and acknowledge them without fear. And so a part of it does have to do with shadow work um, to get yourself in alignment with your subconscious mind. Number three would be about really feeling and embodying the emotions of if you already had what you are desiring. So convincing yourself completely and wholly, getting into a place where you're at a, a frequency and a vibrational match that this already exists in my life. And... I guess a, a simile or an analogy that I would have for that, um, for any of my um, magical and witchy people out there, would be using sigils. In an aspect of using sigils, there is this perspective that once it has been used, uh, created, or written, you forget about it. You let it go. You use it in whichever way you are using that. And there's a level of trust that happens. There's just a knowing and a confidence that once it has been forgotten about, it is in motion, it's in work, it's doing its job. So in the same aspect and embodying these feelings, there's this level of trust. There's this faith that's happening. 
because it's a knowing. It's a, it's a new level of confidence within you. Uh, number four for me would be asking for guidance, utilizing people to help you get into that place of um, meditative states, which would go along with number five, which would be doing it at a period of time later in the evening or when you're raising the level of melatonin in your mind, fueled by all the energy of the day, whether you were at work, whether you were working out, or whether you were grocery shopping, if you were at an event, you've absorbed a lot of energy, and there's ways that you can magnify that energy within your body, but then getting your mental state at a calm frequency to where you are kind of in between states of consciousness. And this really allowed you to get into the subconscious and unconscious mind to reveal the things that are hidden, but also to match that frequency of feeling, embodying the things that you already have. Where number six would be patience, would be trust, would be faith. Similar to the sigil concept, it would be the letting go and the accepting and knowing. It's, it's more about remaining in flow, trusting in the universe to take the steps needed to align with you by opening up those channels and putting all of those things that you're desiring um, in, in alignment with you and on your path. So it just unfolds in this beautiful and magical way, but you have to trust in that process. So I hope you find this inspiring, and if you would like a more detailed video, please ask I like to try to keep it simple because I have had some people recently comment on um, my videos being too long sometimes. It's hard for them to absorb. And then I have some people that say they're too short. So I'm working on finding the balance so it accommodates to everybody. Thanks for tuning in, guys.